Right, a local brewery is making some very big changes, but they also want to help you out with uh, some New Year's plans. Indeed, Molly Real is in SAC with all the details. Hey, Molly. Hey, good morning. Yeah, I'm like Dina was in her happy place. Here, I'm where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> yes. I'm at New Helvetia right peaceful. on Broadway. Uh, and it is peaceful, right? Uh, this brewery, there's so many things to love about it. Uh, Award-winning beer for one dog and family friendly say hello to my girl Shelby uh, and you know what the owner happens to be a University of Oregon alumni so go there you go, go ducks <laughs> uh, but Dave uh, you recently oh. transitioned uh, from a brewery to a, a community worker owned cooperative tell us a little bit about that yeah that was um, uh, something that we had a goal to do we've been uh, a brewery for 11 years and we've always been very active in the community and supporting local causes, uh, local civic amenities, uh, projects where that help support Perrytale Town, the zoo, Front Street Animal Shelter, just various you know things that people love in our community um, and so turning it into a co-op I think is a way to really solidify that community connection. So at this point going forward uh, the brewery will be owned by the workers and the community who join the co-op. Yeah. And uh, some of those community members happen to be here today. We've got Dave, Steve, Matt, and of course, Shelby, who was here the night that New Helvetia opened. Uh, this place is very important to you, isn't it? Yes, we come here every Wednesday, our, our running group, Helvetia running, <laughs> and the uh, community, hang out with our friends and uh, drink beer. Yeah, talk. It's, it's owned by the community now, but Steve, it's always been about the community. Right, we've been coming here since it opened because it supports the community and we support the community. Dave does all these collaborations with nonprofits and foundations and such, and it's in walking distance from our house, so that's safe. But there's just a lot of community engagement and friends, and we, we want this place to stay as a part of our community. Yeah, and that's part of why you decided to become members too. Matt, what does this place mean to you and, and of course, Shelby? Well, it means a lot to both of us. It, like uh, Steve was saying, it's our local brewery, and uh, it's just great to be able to walk down here and you know all the all the bartenders and you enjoy a good beer and a good run as well. And she loves to come down here and get treats and, uh, and meet other dogs and, and go with the running club as well. Okay, so if you want to be, if you want a membership, it's really easy. Dave, tell us how it works. Yeah, so um, $300 lifetime membership. So it's a, it's a, we think, a pretty modest investment to become a brewery owner. Um, you'll get a vote, of course. You get to help steer the direction of the brewery going forward. Um, but then there are built-in perks like discounts on your pints, food, uh, discounts on merchandise and four packs. And, um, and then we'll host you know, members-only party, including our, our first ever members New Year's Eve party this Sunday. This Sunday, yes. If you become a member, you can take part in that party too. Uh, Jen, I want to pull you in really quickly. Just You see people come and go, and uh, what does this place mean to not just you, but everyone who walks through these doors? I feel like this is kind of our neighborhood's cheers. You know, everybody knows your name when you come in. Everybody knows what you drink. We talk, we chat, we sit down with, with our regulars and have conversations, and it, it's just a really cool community space. Yeah, and, and as everyone has said, you know, Dave here, a McClatchy High School graduate, he's always been supporting the different businesses, the different areas around here, and now there's an opportunity for you to, one, own a brewery, in a way, uh, <laughs> but support him like he's been doing for the community for the past 11 years, uh, so where do you, where do you apply? Where do you sign? Yeah, so go to our website, newhobishabrew.com slash co-op membership, and we'll, we'll probably send you the exact link, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it's pretty easy to do. The only requirement is you be 21 and over and a resident of California. Clearly, it's you know mostly Sacramento people who are trying to support this, but, but thankfully, we have people from throughout Northern California who have already signed on. We have 145 co-op members already. Um, over 500 people have signed up on our interest list. It's continuing to grow. It's fun to see the word get out and the excitement kind of build around this. And we're going to we're gonna keep going. It's, All right. well, it's cheers. about Sacramento. It's about Sacramento. Well, cheers to Sacramento. Cheers to you. And cheers to many more years of New Helvetia, now community and worker-owned. We'll send it back to you guys. Right on. Awesome. Thanks, Molly.